sister. So excited to just share a word with you guys. We are about to go in on this word. I could already feel it in my spirit. We had talked about doing this word probably about a week and a half ago when we were in Vegas doing the TV show. And so right now I've just hit the button and I've went live and you guys are getting notified on your Facebook that brother Marcus Rogers is live from his page and then you guys make the choice to click in and tap in and say well let me see what brother Marcus is talking about today and that's what gave us the thought to talk about this don't miss when God goes live there's a lot of people that are missing what God when God is speaking they're missing what God is doing they're not getting the notification number one because they're not plugged in right so on your phone when we go live you get a notification that says brother marcus is live then check this out you've got the choice whether or not you want to click on it or not and it's the same thing in the spirit god will be moving and his spirit will be moving and you've got to make the choice do i want to enter into that do i want to get tapped into that because some people will see that god is live and god is moving and god is flowing and they say well i don't want to tap into that i don't want to enter into that because i don't like the people that he's using or i don't like the way that he's doing it and so you've got the control when god goes live to tap in or not and he's given us all the notifications. The Bible says, when you see these things happening, look to the sky for your redemption draw of mine. God has given us all the signs that, hey, there's something that's about to shift. There's something that's about to move. There's something that's about to change. I'm about to uh, have a great revival. There's about to be a great move of God. If you get sensitive in the spirit, the same way you got the notification that Brother Marcus went live, you start feeling something in the spirit. Man, God's about to move. God wants to do something. God wants to deliver. God wants to use us to cast out devils. God wants to use us to push the kingdom and that he's going to back us. See, you can look at anybody in the Bible who did something, something great. David knew, and here's the crazy thing, that when he went to fight Goliath, God was live. God was God was backing him. It wasn't the, the stones that he picked up. It was the force that was behind the stones. And so you got to be able to recognize when is God live. And sometimes, guess what? You got to recognize when God ain't in it. There's a lot of people, they're, miss, they're missing it. You know what I'm saying? It looks good on the outside. You might click into something and, you know, people might sound good singing. They might sound good preaching. They might sound good teaching. But God is not in it. You don't want to miss when God goes live. So the last thing I'm gonna say about that before I pass it to Brother Klaus is you've gotta be tapped in. Now, for instance, Instagram recently shadow banned me. So people are not seeing my posts. In order for them to see my posts, they have to go click on the three dots in the corner and put on turn on notifications. It's the same thing with you, my brothers and sisters. You gotta get in the spirit. You got to turn on the notifications. You got to get in the word of God. You got to turn on the notifications because the way that I know that God is live is one, because of my prayer life, I can sense things in the spirit. I can t uh, uh, test things in the spirit. And then when I know the word of God, I can also identify, is that the spirit of God moving? Uh, yeah. Uh, don't miss when God goes live. When, when Marcus introduced that thought in the studio, I was like, bet, because it was powerful. And um, I know that this is something that he's practiced and I've practiced that uh, sometimes we just get a spontaneous word and we want to give a heads up. Like, hey, listen, I just got something from God. I'm going to go live in a few moments or we're going to go live in, in about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Give me some time. So there's a there's a heads up sometimes. Yep. And you know what? God is the same way. God doesn't want you to miss when he goes live. So he'll give you a heads up. Remember John the Baptist. John the Baptist was a notification Ooh. saying that, hey, listen, I'm only a voice crying in the wilderness, but God is about to go live yeah. and you need to listen to the one that will come Jeez. after me. John the Baptist was the notification that God was about to go live in the person of Jesus Christ. So there's, there's opportunities that God begins to speak. He begins to 
to let you know I'm about to move. I'm getting ready to do something. Don't miss it. Remember the man that was laying in the, in the uh, I think, Bethes Bethsaida or Bethesda. Mm -hmm. And the waters began to stir. God, they knew that at a certain time, the waters were about to stir and that they could receive a healing. So God was getting ready to go live. And the man was on his way to get into the live and he didn't make it. But Jesus showed up and gave him what he needed anyways. God is about to go live. Jesus, right before he left, he told his apostles, go to Jerusalem and wait for the promise of the Holy Ghost. In other words, he was giving them a heads up. He was telling them in a few days, I'm going to go live like I've never gone live before. And you need to be there so that you don't miss it. And from the 500 that were there receiving the instructions, only 120 responded to the live. But when God went live, he poured his spirit out. And we're here to let you know that God is sending a notification that he's about to go live and there is something that he wants to give you. You just have to be connected to the spirit. You got to be connected to the spiritual Wi-Fi to get the notification. If you're not in prayer, if you're not in the word, then you're not going to be in tune when God goes live. So he sent us with this word to let you know God is about to do something. It's about to be live on the earth like never before. Don't miss what God is about to do. Man, what he just said about John the Baptist, he just got me all the way <laughs> fired up. Some uh, of you need to become a notification whoa, right shit, now in the spirit. Because you know what? Moses went and he was a notification of Pharaoh. He said, let my people on, go God. because God is about to go live on you if you don't. David became a notification and he ran up on Goliath and he already knew what it was. My God is about to go live. Shadrach, Meshach, Come and Abednego, yeah. man, they they let them know you can throw us in the fire, but God will be with me in the fire. And they put them on notice. And Jesus showed up right there in the fire. And guess what, man? God showed up and backed up Goliath. And guess what? God showed up and he backed up Moses. You, man, some of you just need to declare that, that God is about to go live. I'm putting the devil on notice that hey, God is I, about to go live in my on, life. Bro. I'm putting the enemy on notice that God is about to go live. And guess what? Just like we can go live at any point in the day. We can go live 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock at night. It doesn't matter. God can go live whenever he wants to. God can go live in the face of a giant. God can go live in the middle of the fire. God can go live in the lion's den. God can go live when you Come think on, all bro. hope is lost. God, Jesus went live in the middle of the storm. They saw him walking out there on the water and it's just like when you guys sit and know, it looked it look like Brother Marcus Rogers is live. Man, man, what's that out on the water? It's about to be a move of God. And you've got to learn to recognize it. The Pharisees, guess what? God was live and he was working. And they couldn't see it. They were so religious. They were so mad. And, and Jesus was doing all these miracles. He was live. And guess what they tried to do? Just like Facebook and Instagram, they tried to cut the live. <laughs> they try to kill the life. They try to kill the move of God. They say, I don't like that. Just like people, people don't even know what we're talking about. They're not even listening. There some of them already arguing in the comments. It's the same thing. Jesus was out there. He was live and he was working and they didn't care about that. They didn't care about the fruit because guess what? He wasn't going live the way that they thought he should go live. Mm. And so they tried to kill the life. And that's what's happening in this world right now. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to censor things. They're trying to shut up things. They're trying to, and some of you, you got to say, you know what? The enemy has been trying to censor me. The enemy has tried to shut my mouth. The enemy has tried to uh, shut my praise and shut my worship and kill my faith and kill my joy. But I'm about to go live in Jesus name. Mm. 
Man. Bro. <laughs> I'm fired up. You said we need to be a notification. Absolutely. Every single one of us believers needs to be a notification that is signaling to the world that Jesus Christ is about to go live Bring. in a way that he's never gone live before. The Bible tells us, and this is Jesus speaking in Matthew 25, 13. Oh. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the son of man cometh watch therefore because you don't know exactly when God is gonna go live you don't know when that yeah. notification is gonna come when the trumpet sounds Goodness. and the angels crack the sky and Jesus comes back on the earth you don't know the day you don't know the hour you don't know the time but there are signs Whoa. right now in the Jesus. seasons letting us know that there are notifications everywhere you look in the news in the media God is sending notifications. I'm about to go live. I'm about to go live. He wants us, his people, to be a notification telling people, let your lifestyle be a notification that preaches to the world. Jesus is about to go live. Let your witness be a notification to the world that Jesus is about to come. Jesus is about to go live because when God goes live and you're not ready, you're not in tune with the live, judgment is coming. So we need to be a notification. We need to be a notification to the world that God is about to go live. What is your lifestyle saying? Is your lifestyle, is your witness a notification to the world that Jesus is coming? God's about to go live. When he comes, judgment is coming. When he comes, life is coming. When he comes, reward is coming for those that are in tuned and connected to that live feed. What are you saying? Are you a notification for God? Are you a voice? That's telling your friends, God's about to go live, get connected. Is your lifestyle saying to your family members that God is about to go live, make sure that you're connected, hallelujah. But I'm not talking about Facebook, I'm talking about the book of life. You need to be written in the book of life. If your name ain't in the book of life, you're gonna miss when God goes live. And we don't want anybody to miss it when God goes live. live. So make sure that your name is written in the book. It is written, except a man be born again of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Live. Mm. Let me tell you what God just downloaded to me while you're talking, bro. Oh, my goodness. You know how, ladies, some of y'all, y'all try to get all pretty. And so you say, I'm going to go on. I'm going to give give a little live word. And you try to get all pretty. And first, he says, look, when I tell you to go live, you just go. He spoke to old dead Lazarus and he said, go live. And he didn't have a choice. He didn't have time to get pretty. He didn't have time to right. take the bandages off. He just had to respond and he had to go live. Man, stop waiting for the perfect conditions to go live. When Jesus told Peter to come on, go live and walk on the water. He had no, he had to just do it. And some of us, we waiting for the perfect conditions. We're waiting for everything to be pretty. We're waiting for somebody to validate us and he said Lazarus live go live now and Lazarus came hopping out with his bandages and he came hopping out and he was stinking but man because he had to be obedient to the word of God there was a miracle because Peter was obedient to the word of God he walked on water stop waiting for the perfect conditions to go alive some of you need to <laughs> preach some of you need to write some of you need to teach some of you need to go ahead and shoot your shot with that hey, lady man some of you been having all this. I'm waiting for the perfect conditions. And God has said it's yours. He said the promised land is yours. Stop waiting for it to look like the right time and just go. Just attack. Mm, just fight. Live. Take what is yours and go live right My now. God. He said, I don't want you to put no makeup on it. Oh, hey, Shay, I don't want you to look in the mirror and, and check and say, okay, I think I'm ready to go live. He says when they execute on command, they can go into the promised land. Mm. So many times God has been pressing and he's been telling you, do this. All right, y'all not going to like me because y'all, some people going to shout on the first part, but you're not going to shout on this part. He's saying, go live and forgive that person. Go live and let it go. Go live and let go of the yeah. bitterness right now, today. Choose ye this day. I've set before you life and death. Go live. Choose life. Mm. But 
Some of you sitting there saying, well, Brother Marcus, this sound good, but I ain't been down to that church because I'm trying to clean up my life first. Mm. He says, no, 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 no. I don't need you to clean up your life. I need you to just go live. I need you to just obey. I need you to just come on and I send a notification your way. I sent a notification through what Brother Marcus and Brother Klaus was preaching. I'm sending you a notification that's going to relay a message that I love you. See, some of you, you're watching this. It's not an accident that you're watching this. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost. It's not an accident that you're watching this video today. We're literally doing what Jesus did with Lazarus. He said, go live. Some of you are dead and you've got no joy and you've got no peace. But the Bible says that you can come boldly before the throne of grace. You can get whatever you need from God whenever you need it. You can get it in your car. You can get it in your bathroom. You can get it in your job. You can come get it in your uh, closet, wherever, because he spoke to Lazarus in a dead place. And he said, Lazarus come forth go live he can speak life anywhere he can man in the beginning he spoke into nothing and created something so if you're sitting there and you feel like I've got nothing going on in my life you're in perfect position for a blessing from God because the God that we serve specializes in speaking into nothing and creating something. He told the universe to go live. He mm, told the God, dust to yeah. go live. He told the trees to go live. He told the waves to go live. Man, come on, Klaus. Man. Woo, Jesus. Yeah, talking about getting ready to go live. The Bible says that we need to be prepared, that, that we are a bride that's been prepared. We've been prepared. Jesus. And doesn't the scripture say, didn't Paul exhort Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 4, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, mm. reprove, rebuke, come exhort on. with all long suffering and doctrine. We need to be ready to go when God is ready to go. The Israelites, when Passover came, God told them to eat their food with haste. He told them to eat it with their staff. He said, eat it ready to go. Because when I say it's time to go, wow. it's time to go. God wants us to be ready. It ain't a get ready. If you're not ready now, come on. It's time to do what we need to do to get ready. Because when God says, let's go, it's time to go. We won't have time to get ready. Oh my God, it's too late. When the trumpet sounds, you're not going to have time. Nope. What about the virgins in the parable Come of the on. light? Some of them were ready and some of them weren't ready. When the bridegroom came and it was time to go live, Ooh. those that were ready, they Jesus. were able to go with them. But the virgins that didn't have enough oil, they tried to go and get ready. You can't get ready when the live notification pops up and it's time to go right now. It's not time to get ready then. It's time to get ready right now. Let this serve as a notification notification to tell you get ready get ready for God to use you step into it when God calls you to go live with love when God calls you to go live with patience when God calls you to go live with peace or long suffering or gentleness or meekness or faithfulness whatever the fruit of the spirit would call for when God calls on you in that moment we got to do everything that we can to be ready because when God calls us to go live somebody else's life might be at stake. There's a passage in the Old Testament and God was looking for a man that he could send to warn the nations. God was looking for a prophet, somebody that would intervene, somebody that would stand in the gap. And he said, I could not find any. When God begins to search the earth, will he say the same thing? Or is he going to find a brother Marcus? Is he going to find a brother Klaus? Is he going to find a brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so that's praying and saying, God, use me. Whatever it takes, use me. Send me out. I want to go live with the spirit of God. I want to go live in the power of his resurrection. Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> Woo! Man, Ezekiel with the dead bones. That's how God is looking Sheesh. at some of these churches. Dead bone churches. And he's looking, he said, I wish somebody would go live. I wish that these dead bones would live. And guess what? Sometimes the notification that comes doesn't look like the notification that you wanted. God said the coronavirus is a sign that I'm about to go live. But some people can't receive it that way. That's why you got to be in the spirit. Spirit. Man, this, when he sent Goliath out there to fight David, that was a sign that David was about to be elevated. When Joseph got thrown in a pit, that was a sign that God, oh, for the Holy Ghost, that God was about to.
to do something like sometimes the notification that you get in your life something bad will happen or things will start just messing up and you got Goliaths in your life and you say man what's going on but it's a sign that God is about to go live in your life and the enemy's trying to hinder you the enemy's trying to discourage you and what you should do is just begin to praise and just begin to worship it's man. like raindrops falling from the sky it was a sign it was a notification that God was about to go live and his judgment mm. was about to hit the earth yeah. sometimes the notification that God is about to move and that he is about to work ain't going to come pretty. It's not going to come the way that you wanted to come. You know what? Sometimes God is going to send you a notification. I feel the Holy Ghost. He's going to send you a notification and somebody's going to come to you like the prophet Samuel when he came to David and he gave David a notification that God wanted to go live in his life. But guess what? It wasn't live for a miracle. It wasn't live for a blessing. It was live for correction. He came and he put David on notice. He came as a notification that there's some mess in your life mm. that God wants to address. So sometimes when God wants to go live in your life, it ain't to bless you. It ain't to elevate you. Sometimes, man, it's to tear you down, to build you back up. Sometimes he goes live in your life to bring you a, to a state of repentance. So we all celebrate when we get the notification. We get the God is about to go live and bless you with a car and bless you with a man and bless you with money and bless you with increase. But I wonder if there's anybody out there can celebrate when God says I'm about to go live and correct you. I'm about to go live in your life in those secret places of your heart. I'm about to go live in those places where you're bitter. And the reason why I want to go live is because I want to address those things before I bless you, before I elevate you, before I take you to the next level, before I put you live. Come on, bro. Go ahead. Jesus, I feel the Holy Ghost. Listen, I, this, this, is, this is what I feel in my spirit, man. This, this whole pandemic has been a notification from God. God has put America on notice. On. And the reason why is because as a collective, yeah, there were individuals that have been standing up and shouting. They've been lifting up their voice on behalf of the innocent. They've been lifting up their voice on behalf of God, but this is a unified thing and God is looking for us to be united. And the reason why we're walking around here with a face mask on, the reason why our mouth is covered is because God is saying all this time you didn't speak up for the innocent all this time you didn't speak up when the LGBTQ community was going alive when they were going alive you didn't speak up you were silent you let it happen but God and then and then the pandemic so God is saying okay because you don't want to speak on righteousness with all the evil going on because you don't want to speak on wickedness I will allow the enemy to cover your mouth. Uh, this is supposed to be the year of the decreed word in the Hebrew calendar. This is supposed to be the year of the open mouth and look at what's happened in us. The enemy has come and God allowed it to happen to where he was able to symbolically cover <laughs> our mouth. Wow. I got to have this mask on and it's covering my mouth. My mouth is covered. My voice is muffled because Jesus. I got something covering me. <laughs> when we didn't have that covering, and this is spiritually speaking, when we had the opportunity to raise our voice, we didn't do it. Not everybody did it and God is calling a unified effort. So now he's allowed our mouths to be covered. Is, uh, is it clear yet? Yet? Have we woken up yet? Do we realize yet that we need to be a voice to the nations? John the Baptist was a voice in the wilderness. And God is calling us to be a voice to the nations. And we cannot be silent. So now, with your mouth covering, we are called to declare the truth of God's word. We're called to speak out against injustice with your mouth covered. Begin to cry out against the wickedness and the evil that we see in our world today. Let it not be symbolic to the church keeping her mouth shut. But in the middle of this pandemic where the enemy's plan is to keep your mouth covered, I, I dare you in the name of Jesus to live. Lift up your voice and cry out on behalf of holiness.
I feel the same thing in my spirit, man. I That's why it. this coronavirus thing has come because you know what? The Lord is getting ready to move and he's trying to shake something. He's trying to, and you know what? If, if, if this thing passes over and you go back to your church and they still talking about the same old stuff after all of this, I would go find a new church because God is looking at these churches and he's saying, I wish somebody would go live. I wish these gummy bear preachers would find a backbone and start declaring what thus saith the Lord. He's sick of that business friendly Jesus where you don't want to say the wrong thing because you want to make connections and you want that money to come in. He's sick of the church being politically correct. We are supposed to be a city on a hill. Yes. We're supposed to let that light burn bright. Man, I'm not going to hide my light. I'm not going to turn it down just the people, please. I'm not going to turn down what the Lord showed me or what he revealed to me because it makes people unhappy. Matter of fact, the more angry that people get, the more that I'm going to preach, the more that I'm going to let the light shine because Jesus said it would happen we're trying to tiptoe and avoid around persecution. And guess what? That's the problem. So many people just falling in line. That's what God is showing right now. So many people, we're just flowing with that with that, that spirit of the Antichrist. We just fall right. in line. We just submit. It's just okay. It's no big deal. But let me tell you something. Some people are not going to like it. There have been all kinds of notifications that we are living in the end times. Everything that the Bible said would happen. It talks about the lawlessness. It talks about oh, everything that you see happen. Notification, notification after notification after notification after notification the notification and he said they're still not responding i've gave them millions of notifications but they still want to see it their way they still want to do it their way coronavirus came and gave all of us a chance to repent and reflect everybody was talking about 2020 and i told you guys and i think it was november october 2019 i said god told me he's gonna give perfect vision to position people and a lot of people were talking about vision, you know, 2020 and things like that. But coronavirus comes and everybody had some kind of period, period of lockdown where I can reflect, where I can look within. God, do you want to go live in my life? Mm. Before we go into 2020 or 2021, do you want to go live in my life and change some things? Before we go to the next level, before I go to the promised land, before I step into the things that you have for me, Lord, you know what? Some of you need to give God permission. You know how you can block people on Facebook? Come on, bro. Oh, some of you God. need to give God permission. Some of you need to take God off the block list. You've right. been blocking the word. You've been blocking the Come flow. On, You've been avoid. You, yeah, you avoid yeah, going yeah, to yeah, churches that are live. You right. listen to these gummy bear preachers. You listen to these people that water down the gospel. Right. You listen to these people that gonna tickle your ears and tell you what you want because you don't want God to go live in your life. He's saying, take me off the block list. Stop listening to these watered down preachers. These preachers are not speaking my words. These preachers are not of my spirit. These prophets are false prophets. They cater to your emotions. They cater to your feelings. He said, let me go live in your life and take me off the block list. Jesus. Yeah. It's time to turn the notifications on. My, we can't worry about being politically correct. We need Man. to be kingdom correct. So our culture, the culture of kingdom is holiness. Our kingdom culture is holiness. Jesus. Holiness is unto the Lord. People, the Bible says... In the lap, when God returns and establishes his kingdom, that holiness will be everywhere. People will know holiness. That is the kingdom culture. That's our culture as kingdom people. It's holiness. So we need to live our lives like that. Let's, let's not block. The Bible says that God is able to turn around the thing that was sent to, to harm us. The, the, the scripture is very clear that God is able to take the, the thing and work it out for our good to those that love God. God can take this pandemic thing and work it out. If we can respond with a covered mouth symbolically and begin to cry out through the covering, 
cry out through the silencing techniques, the silencing methods, and we begin to defy this idea of covering the mouth and trying to silence us to speak the word of God, if we can just do it anyways and repent and begin to cry out to God on behalf of God, God can and will turn this thing around because God is a merciful God. He gave a notification to Sodom and Gomorrah. He sent two angels and he gave them a notification. He said, listen, God is getting ready to destroy this city. God's getting ready to go live. But we've come to let you know. And Lot responded. And he was spared. What to God? We can respond to his mercy. Every notification is because of his mercy. Let's not reject the mercy of God. Guys, we got to go. I got to go pick up my uh, pastor. But let me tell you something. Next week is going to be a shift in the spirit. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, everybody got their different feelings about who's going to win. You guys know what I feel. But next week is a notification that we are entering into a new season. Regardless, either way that it goes, it's a notification that God is going to go live. I would be praying if I was you. I'd be seeking God if I was you because something is about to shift. We're entering into a new season and God is going to do something with the kingdom and you don't want to miss it. Do not miss when God goes live. Love you guys. Be blessed. Tell about the King's Corner. Go uh, check out the King's Corner. Just go to his YouTube, Digital Disciple Ministries, the TV show that we filmed in Las Vegas. He's been posting it on there. It's going to bless your life. Hey, I love you. If you got a prayer request, put it in the comments. Man, share this video. Somebody on your timeline needs to see it. Have a wonderful day in Jesus' name.